Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the Zender Comfort Air System. And basically in this series, it's a you know building a house by yourself. I've currently I've got I'm just about getting ready to insulate and drywall, and I need to finish. I need to install this air system. And the reason I chose Zender is they they really have a good um, product line. And I like all the, the fittings and fixtures, and, and it just seems like a, a really nice uh, system for me. Anyway, yeah, let's get started. We'll, uh, we'll start by hanging the unit and then installing all the pipes, and I'll show you how easy it is. Let's get started. There he goes, it's a working man. He's trying to make a living any way he can. And he'll break his back for a buck two. Right off the bat, I can tell you that um, the unit basically has a bracket and you mount the bracket. I, I put a piece of plywood behind the unit and then I mounted the bracket on the plywood and then I hung it on the on two basically two bolts on the on the bracket. It was really easy to install. Right here you have a you have a two-way plenum. And I mounted a piece of plywood up here on the joist, on the floor joist, and then mounted this to that plywood. And you got, you basically have an in and an out. And in this particular case, the that side is the air coming in. So it's your, it's basically sucking air out of the rooms and then sending it through the filter and sending it back outside. And then this side right here that I'm installing is the air that's coming from outside gets filtered and then and then goes inside and basically it puts little puffs of air in in all the rooms that this is connected to so you have a on on this right side of the zender unit you have an in and an out and then on the left side also you have an in and an out but the left side in this particular setup is um, you have an air intake from outside and then you have a exit exit air so the left side is air in and out from the outside and the right side is in and out from the inside of the house and basically you can flip this around actually you can have it go either way in my case I'm bringing the air in from the left side so it just worked out that that's an easier way to route it but you can also you can also change it and have the air come in from the outside from the right side it just changes the configuration and basically still goes through all the filters right here you get a better idea of the outside of these pieces and on this I'm basically cutting a piece of plywood to put up on the floor joist to mount this unit on there and pretty easy stuff actually right here you can see I, I'm basically I I mount some plywood up here and then mount that plenum to the bottom of this plywood. Now the hole underneath of this floor system is going to get insulated also. It's going to get spray foamed and then all all the pipes under there actually get insulated also. But the air system it needed to go in before insulation um, basically to get all these pipes up and in the walls before I started doing any kind of insulation in the house. Now on the left side of the unit you can see those black kind of pipes right there. They, they're they okay. Um, that's what comes with the unit. But I, I basically ended up switching that to... Um, I ran out of the unit with those black pipes on the left side and then I ran... Um, I switched it over to metal to go up and out of the house. Right here you can see all the little adapters that your pipes going to connect to. What's cool about it's really a nice system actually. It um, you know it, it has basically you have six ins and six outs, and right here I'm on the left side. Now here's where I'm running to go get air intake from the outside, and basically I'm using the pipes that can't. They they supply you with these black pipes. They're really lightweight, kind of a foam pipe but you can't really get too far with them. And so I just took them down. I just took them down a little ways and then I switched to metal and that seemed to work out better for me. It's 
some deer outside there. Right here I'm just putting some blocks in so that this pipe is nice and level going across the bottom of these floor joists. If you do have a crawl, if you do build a house, like this is a small house with a crawl space, make sure you give yourself at least at least three and a half feet. I, I believe this is almost four feet under here, close to four feet, but you really need that much room to move around in here. And on this Zender unit, some of the units have um, some of the units have a drain on the bottom. This particular unit did not. And so I, I didn't have to have a drain on the bottom, so it, it fit in here, but it barely fit in here. And I was lucky that it, it, if you look at it, it barely had enough room under the floor right there, and it barely had enough room above it. But it worked out, so that's all that matters. And actually, I was questioning myself, because when I had the system designed, the designer knew that I only had four feet under there, so he... He put it under there, so he knew what he was doing. Right here, I'm, um, this is going to be the air intake, the fresh air. And basically, this particular wall right here is getting a, um, it's getting a, a wall unit, a bookshelf in there. So I'm going to actually come down in the corner of that, of that shelf unit, so that you won't end up seeing it after I'm done. But it's you know to get a six-inch pipe down through there. Um, it's not always that easy. So both of these six inch pipes have to be um, boxed in on um, the intake and also the, the exit air. Now in my case, they gave me, um, I got some stainless steel uh, vents, basically intake air vents and exit air vents. And I, I like those, they, they were pretty nice quality and here you can see I'm kind of looking at how this thing's going to go in there. But that's basically the air intake right there. And they tell you to be 10 feet away from air, the exit air. And this was just, just barely, just barely 10 feet away. Here I'm going to get this piece all cocked in there and installed. And basically it has a removable cover which is nice and it has a screen so no kind of keeps any animals and stuff from getting in there. And I'm basically using some black um, exterior window and door cocking. And there, there's the intake. So here you can see now, I'm using a hole saw to drill down through here, and I basically got to drill through the, the bottom plate and then also um, the floor. So I'm drilling through about two and a quarter inches of material. And this size, it's basically a three inch hole saw, and the pipe fits right through there nice and snug. So if you're doing this, the three inch hole saw works pretty good. Basically, I'm, I set up where the, so you got, on this particular wall, you got um, air. These are both air coming into the rooms. And you have air going into the bedroom, which is just one pipe. And then you have air going into the living room, which is two pipes. Now, right here, you have an exit air, which is coming out of the bathroom. So it's constantly sucking just a little bit of air out of this one, out of that bathroom. And then here you can see, here's another one. Um, you have one going into the office and then two going into the living room. So each side of the living room basically has two pipes going into the big living room. So you have four pipes puffing fresh air into that living room. And then you have, in the living room, you have um, two pipes that suck air out. And then in these, um, so basically the air that gets, is getting sucked out, you have a couple pipes in the kitchen area that are constantly pulling just a little bit of air out. And then you also, in, the, in both the bathrooms, you have um, a pipe that's pulling just a little bit of air out. 
And then it goes through the filter, out the outside, fresh air comes in, and you're getting um, filtered fresh air puffing into these rooms. And it's a, it's a brilliant system. It, um, as far as knocking down, you know, you, you have a bunch of stuff that floats around in the air, and this really helps to keep that air in your house clean. And I'm pretty excited about it, actually. It's kind of a new system for me, but I'm, I'm pretty sold on how it works. Now, if you're using a hole saw, be prepared to buy a few hole saw bits because um, I think I went through, I had to drill about 25 of these 3-inch holes, and I went through about three of these hole saws. So get yourself a couple before you start. Right here you can see I'm hooking up uh, one of the units and basically just run this pipe down through the floor and basically I put a, it has a little um, gasket and you put a little soap on that gasket and you shove it in and then it has a clip that holds it on there and super simple to do um, when I was first getting started it was just trying to figure out how these clips go in but they it's actually really easy you just make sure the pipes pushed all the way in there and then it'll, it'll work really well. Here you can see I'm adding another pipe and I just used my little samurai saw and cut them and then put the gasket on, soap and then a clip. Really easy. Here you can see I'm hooking another pipe up to this is the living room register and you can see right there pretty easy now these two pipes going up here these are two pipes that go up and it, and it basically has a register up here in the ceiling kind of above the island right there and that's basically sucking kitchen air out so any smells or something that comes into the kitchen kind of kind of it's basically sucking air up through there, down, and out, and then giving you fresh air in those other areas. And there you can see the red register. That's the register that's basically um, hooking up to the pipes that are going to go down below to the unit. It's good to roll this out. I mean, the only way this works really well is if you roll a big chunk out and then you basically, I always cap the ends before I shove it down through there so nothing gets inside this pipe. And then I just get it going, go down below and um, route it how I want it, put a gasket on it and hook it up. It gets to a point where you're like pretty comfortable about how the whole system's working. And once you kind of get in, get the pipes up where you want, then you can, right here I'm getting a guesstimate of the size and routing this pipe up to the ceiling. Yeah, building a house by yourself, it's fun. It takes a lot longer than, you know, when I was in business, I'd finish a really big house in 11 or 12 months and I've been working on this little house for a couple years now, but I've been doing it by myself and I usually, I haven't been working in the winter, I've just been working in the summer. But this winter, this winter I'll be all sealed in and insulated and it'll be warm in here. So this winter I'll actually be doing all the tiling. We're gonna have, it'll, it should be all drywalled. I'll be putting in the cabinets and tiling all the floors. And so this winter will be a busy winter of trying to get this thing done. The pipe was pretty easy to manage. Um, it's a kind of a flexible corrugated pipe and it it, um, it wasn't hard to deal with actually at all. If you have tight corners like right up there in that ceiling, it, you have to kind of wiggle it around a little bit to get it up through there, but it does work. And it will go through a two by four wall, so it will fit. It kind of maximizes um, like I said, the pipes are three inches, so it will work. Right here, I'm routing the exit pipe and um, basically just blocking it, and it's going to go up in the corner of this mechanical room in here, 
and out. And I kind of put a little offset in there to get it to go up nice and as flush to the wall as possible. Get it leveled and strapped on there. And then it's just a matter of going up and cutting the hole above. This metal pipe, I'm, I'm basically wrapping all the joints with metal tape. And that seems to work pretty good. And then I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to insulate these pipes afterwards with just some wrapped insulation. Right here you can see I'm trying to figure out the where to cut the hole through the side. Now the reason I chose this side to be the exit side is it was really the only spot to get a pipe out um, in this area. And the other pipes that are going out up in this area, you can see one above my head right there, that's a radon that's go that motor's not going to be up there, but there is a hole up there that a pipe's going to come down, and I'm going to be pushing out air from there. So you can see I'm about 10 feet away from the, the um, air coming in the house. If you could do it in opposite ends of the house, that would be good too, but this worked out good as far as being um, close to the, the unit and having both pipe, both of the big pipes come in one side. Yeah, I think this, this system will be really nice for getting, you know, having a lot of fresh air come into the house. And here you can see it all completed. Everything's installed. The rough-in is ready to go. And basically that's all you need to do. I, I go through and strap a few of these, like that pipe right there coming down the wall. I'll throw, oh, it looks like strap. I'll throw a few straps on there. But the next thing, basically the rough-in's all done for the Zender. It's all hooked up, ready to go. The only thing is to commission it, and that'll be after, after insulating and drywall and after all that stuff's done. But yeah, it came out really good. It was easy to do, and I would highly recommend the Zender products. All, all their fittings and everything worked really well. I had no problems with any of it. The, um, the piping was nice. They sent all the, all the right amount of everything. I actually had a little bit of this white pipe left over, but it, um, and, and the stainless steel grills right there that they provided were really nice. Anyway, you can see how easy it is to install. And um, I basically, I think I installed this whole system in three or four days. And I took, I, you know, I'm not in a, a hurry. So I took my time doing it. I, I think a guy could install, in, in this small house that I'm doing, I think a guy could do it all in one day, really, with, with a helper. Anyway, thanks very much for watching the video, and please subscribe, like it, and I'll see you next time. Later. There he goes, it's a working man. He's trying to make a living any way he can. And he'll break his back for a buck or two. Oh, there ain't no shame in what he do.